You may have heard of fracking. It's the process where sand, water, and chemicals are injected underground at extremely high pressures to crack open rock layers in order to release oil or gas that is trapped inside. As you can imagine, fracking uses a lot of water. To avoid waste, companies like NGL Energy Partners are filtering and reusing the water from the fracking process. Water from drilling contains debris such as oil residues, rocks, and chemicals. For years, people didn't think that wastewater could be recycled and reused, but water actually has a complex life cycle after the drilling process. NGL Energy Partners utilizes several tanks to separate contaminants from the water. Their sand tank lets solid material settle out. From there, the water travels to another tank that separates the oil residues in the water into different tanks. Well, Ryan, I guess this is uh, kind of the end stage for this facility. Yes, sir, this is the back end of the facility. This is where the, any oil, slop oil that's recovered can be trucked out. Uh, you can see the last of the water tanks where it's equalized, then it goes into this header manifold and the charge pumps. Then it goes into the series of filter pods where any remaining particulate matter is removed. From there, we're adding a scale inhibitor chemistry. Then it goes back into this pipeline. The pipeline goes underground for several miles. And the next stop is our state line booster. The team at NGL is turning dark, murky water into water that can be used again and again, bringing the world of fracking and sustainability together. For more information on the innovations that are shaping our world, visit tomorrowsworldtoday.com or check out the Tomorrow's World Today Facebook and Instagram pages.